But you know, like the little beanie babies, this is like a jumbo beanie baby. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Bolo items, big money Bolo items that my Bolo Buddies Facebook members sold. So what I did is I posted this screenshot in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited anybody in the group to share their big money Bolo. So let's check out these big money Bolos. I am gonna pop up the screenshot right over here. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And if you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, there is a link down in the description of the video. The first item is mine. And um, this one's a little uh, different. It's a plush, but it is a, is it T-Y or tie? I always forget. But you know, like the little beanie babies, this is like a jumbo beanie baby. But this is what he looks like. I got this out of a mystery plush lot that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And it was $50 free shipping for the whole bundle. I have a video on it. This is what it looks like if you wanna see everything I got in the box. And this was actually a challenge that I did or a collab video with the Rebel Reseller. This is her channel, also an amazing channel. Check her out. But um, we both got um, a $50 plush lot, free shipping from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. We unboxed it. And then um, you guys told us who you thought had the better box. But this guy um, sold for, he is Big George. He's a 1989 plush. He's a jumbo plush. And he has weighted feet. Now I'll tell you what I did. Most of them had their monkey uh, or ape or what? what is he? Gorilla sitting um upright i put mine down on its hands and uh, like its feet like it was walking and i think that helped sell mine but anyway i sold it for 50 dollars plus shipping that was kind of a long story sorry about that okay so the next one says i bought this unusual duck bowl for three dollars this sold for 140 dollars plus shipping i've done I've done better, but this was this month's so far. So this is what it looks like. It's an unusual duck bowl. <laughs> $3 and 140 is fantastic. All right. Sold this vintage Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, the movie figure, for $94.95. My dad has been collecting for 40 plus years and has finally decided to cash in on his huge collection of vintage figures and comic books. So I got this for free and we are splitting the profit on everything. Um, original Kmart price tag, he paid $7.99 for it. So new old stock toys, definitely be on the lookout. This next one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Flippin' It Good. So if you hear me say Bolo Buddies member or I mention a YouTube channel um, or an eBay store, that means they are members of my channel, which means they have joined memberships. Um, level two gets you a shout out in the videos. This one comes from Flippin' It Good, and he has an amazing uh, YouTube channel. He mostly does retail arbitrage, but he also does other stuff. This came from a yard sale, $5. Uh, I added the games to the set. This set sold in two weeks, took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. So it's a Sony PS2 PlayStation Slim Silver console. I don't know anything about games. Um, bundle with games tested. So he got it for five bucks at a yard sale, added the two games and sold it for a hundred bucks. This is another one from Flippin' It Good. I got these in a lost cargo pallet. That's the newest thing he's doing. He's buying those lost cargo pallets. I mean, how many people would take the risk on one of those? Check out his channel for more on those. He said, I'm in $15 into it after dividing the total I paid by the sellable items. This pair sold in three weeks of being listed on Oh, oh, I'm like on cloud. On cloud's the brand. Never heard of that. He said it's definitely a Bolo brand. On cloud. This is what it looks like. He sold these for $380. <laughs> on cloud? Like, what is that? That's why I love these videos because 
I wouldn't have known to look for on cloud. Okay, found at the Goodwill for $4.99 and sold in 24 outlets. Ours. These are New Balance Sunny Yellow Disney Minnie Mouse sneakers. So it looks like a collab between Disney and New Balance, but I don't see anything on there. Maybe it's on the tongue. I can't tell by the photo. Okay. This one comes from Double T Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out. She paid 60 cents each at the Goodwill and sold all 10 to the same person within two two days of listing. They're vintage um, has Halsey, H-A-L-S-E-Y, U.S. Army Military Melamine Melmac Mess Hall Coffee Cups, 59.94, quantity two. Um, that's what they look like. Paid a dollar at a garage sale. I knew to look for the Jelly Cat brand. Got excited when I had a chance to look up comps. Sold for full asking price. It is a Jelly Cat Bashful Calico Critter Cat, uh, white, black, plush, brown, black, white, plush toy, kitty, kitten, 12 inch, sold for $79. I love finding Jelly Cat. I found this McLaren hat that was signed at a thrift store for $6. I priced at $45 and took an offer of $40. It sold the next day. I'll definitely be on the lookout for more. The Bolo Group told me that it is a British automotive manufacturer. They make very expensive cars and race cars. Hmm. So that one sold on Poshmark. Hi, Courtney. I have one. I sold this vintage Ray Light Christmas Light Up Wind Up Musical Church for $51 on Macari. It's like a Christmas village building. It lights up and has faux stained glass windows. It also has a wind up music box with Christmas tunes on Macari for $51. I did include a picture of it lit up in my listing. I paid about 75 cents for it at the Goodwill bins. Um, one bins charged 69 cents a pound for breakables and electrical items. Wow, that's great. Um, I was super excited to learn the buyer's parents had one like it when she was a child, and that is why she wanted it. Really made me smile to make that happen. All right, so yeah, I, I love a good story when somebody messages you after they buy it, and they're like, this means so much to me. I'm so glad you had this item. All right, the next one comes from In the Life of a Reseller. This is her YouTube channel. She said, I picked this up a couple years ago, wore it, washed and dried it, lost it a couple times, paid a dollar, listed it on the 6th and sold it on the 8th. Originally listed for $228 and took a pest offer of $200. Uh, well, that's funny. It was sitting in her money pile, right? Um, I bought these 1960s Playboy ashtrays at a yard sale for a dollar. I scooped them up. Didn't do comps at the yard sale, but knew they would sell. They sold for $59.99 plus shipping in two days. Maybe should have sold higher, but I'll take it. We just purchased a house to flip. Our first one, anyway. There were many collectible items left at the house, and this was one of them. So once we flip the house, this was basic. This will basically be free. Sold for full asking price in one day. Mega Blocks Collector Series Call of Duty Special Ops Task Force Set. New in the box, $175. Okay, so this next one I asked Leah to share. Um, Leah's uh, helps out in the group and she's uh, become a great friend of mine. And she sent me this and I'm just like, you've got to share that. Um, her eBay store is Leah's Bits and Pieces. And she picked this up at an estate sale for $2. She said, I could have held out for more, but great return on investment on these as I took a best offer. Um, she sold them a best offer for $110. They are dentures false teeth. So pretty amazing, right? I don't know what people do with those. I don't know that I want to know. So the next one, I picked up this teacup at the antique mall for $10. I put it on auction and it sold for over $200. Um, it sold for $223.50 to be exact on auction. Vintage Ansley Orchard Fruit Gold Teacup and Saucer signed D. Jones. Got this guy at a yard sale for a dollar. I sat it, oh, I'm sorry. It sat in my car for weeks before looking it up. It sold in less than five minutes for $150 and that sold over on Mercari. It is a vintage, oh, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Chin or... Chenora Siri. Ah, that's what it looks like. Um, it's a ceramic mon monkey. <laughs> How fun is that? All right. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. 
and she is now on YouTube. So check her out. She's new and she is doing awesome. Paid $40 with shipping included in an auction. Sold on eBay for $125 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $164 and it sold in a month. It is a rare Yellow Buddy L drink Coca-Cola 1950s delivery truck pressed steel. Bought this whole box of vintage Halloween candles at a yard sale for $5. I've already sold the tall skeleton in the back for $75. Gruley candles are a bolo. I think I'm saying that right. It's G-U-R-L-E-Y. I think that's how you pronounce it. And here is the skeleton that sold for $75. I picked this bolo up at a yard sale for about $0.25. Cents, listed it for $65. Got an offer for $60. It took about a week. Sold from my eBay store, I Candy Vintage. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. And it is a vintage Tyco 1994 Kitty Kitty Jungle Lion Kittens plush. Rare item. Um, 60 bucks. Uh, I was like, you forgot your photo. And she's like, I was so excited I forgot my photo. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Um, I purchased this in an online auction. I paid $42 for a small box of vintage and antique toys. I was scrolling through the lots and could not believe it when I spotted this. And even crazier is that it had no bids. This, these are extremely rare. This one had a crack at the top. I accepted an offer of 300 due to condition, but these can sell for up to 700. It is a vintage Pez space gun candy dispenser from the 1950s. How cool is that? Wow, I am happy to know about this one because I had no idea. Uh, picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents, single stitch vintage Harley Davidson t-shirt sold for full asking price of $69. I got mine in an estate sale for $5 listed on 5122. I had it listed on sale at 178 with the plan to go below 150. My buyer is in Japan and shipping global shipping program. Um, so I gave him an extra five off selling the Furby for $145. This one is from 2005 and this is what it looks like. These Sims pants came from the boutique or pink tag items at the Goodwill. I paid 15 and they sold for full asking price of $89.99 in less than 24 hours. So that is a brand I have not heard of. It's S-I-M-M-S, -M -M Sims. This Wilton pan was found at Forgotten Angels Resale. I took a best offer of $70 and paid $4 for it. It's a Wilton Rare Dimensions Cake Pan Bunt Heavy Duty Cast Aluminum Round. Did pretty good. Okay, this one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. That is her eBay store. She is a Bolo Buddies member. I bought this beautiful fairy lamp at a garage sale for 50 cents, listed it for 60, and took a best offer of 54 plus shipping. Vintage fairy light tiara glass, Indiana glass, blue rain textured fairy lamp. Paid $1.50, half off color at Goodwill. Took about a month and had several views and watchers. Finally dropped the price, 15, and sold for $110. It is a vintage IBM Think plaque, wood, sign, rare. <laughs> Who would have known? Crazy, right? Found six pairs of these corduroy OP, um, I think it's Ocean Pacific, surf shorts a few weeks ago. Three pairs were new with tags and three were used. I've sold five pairs so far. Used going for 40 to 65 and new going for 100 or more. Don't pass these up if you spot them in the wild. Vintage OP black classic corduroy surf shorts men's size 32. Huh. Wow. Picked this up at a church rummage sale. Had to pay $2 to get it for early, uh, I'm sorry, to get in for early access and was the only item I found. Listed and woke up to two different offers in the morning. Couldn't find it anywhere. Not sure if I should have done auction instead, but we'll take the quick flip. So cute. It's a Boyd Bears collection ombre brown and cream cat 11 inch posable jointed rare. Sold it for $40. I bought this Logitech Harmony Ultimate Universal Home Remote Control at Goodwill for $10. No box, no manual. Tested it at home and worked perfectly. It controls the TV streaming device, Blu-ray player, and also works with Alexa devices. 
like lights and power outlets. I got full asking price of $139.99 plus shipping, and it was only listed for about 10 hours. Paid 69 cents for this mug at the Goodwill. Took a best offer of $59 plus shipping. I'm not very familiar with the artist, but apparently the Moomin, Moomin mugs are highly collectible. There are also dishes and bowls dating as far back as the 1950s with the adorable hippo illustrations and other cute quirky characters worth a look up on eBay to get a feel for their style. Mine went to the UK through eBay's global shipping program. So this is what it looks like, $59. I found these at the Goodwill bins. The box was in rough shape, but all the cards were there. It's similar to tarot cards. I probably paid about 50 cents for it since it was paid by weight. Took about a month to sell. So astrological fortune telling horoscope cards, $49.99. Um, I missed the May thread, but I think this al is also worth sharing. I bought this at a Goodwill bins, so it was between a dollar and a dollar fifty. It needed some cleanup. I estimate this is about 1973 to 1975 when there were lines at gas stations because of so little fuel. I put it on auction with a starting bid of $99, but no one bid. I then did a buy it now of 99 and took a best offer of $85. It was an auction for one week and buy it now for three days, so it took less than two weeks to sell. It's a vintage VW Volkswagen license plate relieve gas pains at Beaver Valley. So it's a license plate cover. All right. This was definitely a surprise quirky bolo. I found it at a yard sale on my second walkthrough. I actually saw it on the first look, but dismissed it. Got to the car and decided to comp it out just for fun and was blown away. Went back in and snatched it up for 50 cents. Sold in about two months for $49.99 plus shipping. How many of you have done that? Where you're like, you sit in the car and you're like, oh, I'm going back to get that. I think I've done that. $49.99 on this. Um, Adrian Monk, Tony, uh, it's a bobblehead and some bobbleheads do really great. So they are definitely worth looking up. Thank you guys so much for being here. These are big money bolos from my Facebook group members. If you would like to share a bolo, feel free to join the group. You will see posts like this underneath the um, announcements featured section. You just put a picture, a screenshot, and you tell me where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for. If you took a best offer, it can be any platform. And I will share your bolo in a video like this. So Facebook group link is down below along with other things that I use for my business if you want to check out those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.